good morning ladies and gentlemen or good evening if you're watching this somewhere else in the world where it's nighttime my name is Tony and this is Tony versus the world I don't sound too excited right now that's because I'm not I have a really bad habit of being late but actually making it this time well maybe not so much let's talk about that after the break Jaden hit my drop Okay, so guess what? I am still at the Paris airport right now. As you can see, that big Paris sign. And um, yeah, so I missed my flight and if you guys have been following me on Instagram, what I've been doing is letting you guys choose where I go uh, every single stop. And just as the poll showed, you guys chose Accra, Ghana in Africa. So I booked the flight, everything was good. I missed it. So that's okay. I mean, I still want to get another flight, but unfortunately for me, it was very 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 expensive um, so I had to pay about 300 euros extra on top of my ticket that I already paid to rebook the flight so I rebooked it but the catch is if I rebooked it the next flight is tomorrow and it's only about 9 30 a.m. Paris time so I have to figure out what I'm going to do all day long in the Paris airport, Charles de Gaulle airport, until the morning. So lucky me, you guys are going to be with me to keep me company. And uh, let's figure out what we can do. All right. Probably going to eat first. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing. So yeah, let's go. Let's walk around. I've officially spent my entire day in the Paris airport. I've been sitting here since about 9 o'clock a.m. and it's just about 9 o'clock p.m. Yeah, it sucks. So um, my flight doesn't leave until about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So I really got to spend the night here. So what I'm going to do is explore the airport. Why not? What else is to do? So let's see what we can do in the airport for 24 hours and hopefully we don't get kicked out. Let's go. Still here, still stuck in the airport. It's currently almost midnight. It's almost midnight. There's some people here. They're just walking around too. Some people are waiting the same way I am for the morning. There's other people that have flights that just came in. So I'm not alone, but it's very, very, very little people here. So we're just gonna continue to walk around and explore i haven't got kicked out yet security hasn't said anything to me yet so you know we'll see we'll see what happens this is what you get when you get stuck in an airport or no even better this is what you get when you're late for a flight that you shouldn't be late for so make that a lesson for you guys don't say you don't learn anything on turning versus the world uh yeah let's see what else we can get see what else we can find see what else we can bump into in an empty airport let's go
right, Ghost Town it is. It's the arrivals hall where usually it's hundreds and hundreds of people walking through here, but clearly it's nobody right now. Literally a ghost town. This is actually kind of cool because I've never seen it like this. I could just <laughs> literally do whatever I want to do. Okay, so now I bet you're wondering, why aren't I in a lounge or something like that? I know they got beds and showers and stuff like that. Well, since I missed my flight, they didn't give me a boarding pass for tomorrow. So I can't get past security to get to the lounges. So I'm literally stuck outside by the ticket counters and all of that stuff, um, by the baggage claim. And I can't literally do anything. I mean, at least if I was in the lounge, I could get free food or like I said, take a shower or lay down in one of their beds or something like that. I'm literally stuck stuck with nobody around and nothing to do. I wish one of you guys were here to keep me company so we could laugh and walk around, but it is what it is. Do not be late for your flight, guys, especially on airlines that only have one, one or two flights a day. If you miss those one or two flights, that's it and that's what happened to me so hope you guys can learn from my mistakes let's keep going money I said check your bags here 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 okay clearly boredom has set in and I need to sit down and like take a nap or something because my inner child is just going wild here for no reason at all just to entertain you guys um i think i'm gonna go back and maybe try and take a nap i don't know so it's already after midnight i have to check in at 5 30 a.m and my flight doesn't leave until 10 a.m so i still got a long ways to go uh i'll figure something out but at least when I check in and get my boarding pass, I can go to the lounge and eat and hopefully steal a bed or something. Maybe, um, well, no, because I don't know about you guys, but if I try to sleep for like two hours or three hours, you know, just to catch a little quick nap, it's not going to work. And this is going to happen all over again and I'm going to miss the flight. So I'm literally just going to have to stay up all night or maybe just try and take a nap right now. We'll see what happens. Um... Comment below right now what you guys would do if you were in an airport literally by yourself. What, what would you do? Are you one of those types of people that just like to go to sleep and chill and, you know, listen to your music or whatever? Or you like me, just want to go around and explore and see what's what, you know, just to see what you can get into. It's bedtime. Let's go. Last time I talked to you guys, it was about 5.30 a.m. and you could see the airport started getting really, really, really busy again. So now, let's see, it's almost 5 o'clock. It's almost 5 p.m. and I'm still here. The airline is not accepting my COVID test. They want their own COVID test from their own, I guess, suppliers. 
So I had to pay money to go out in the city, go get me another COVID test so I can fly tomorrow because there's only one flight a day. Yes, you heard that right. This airline only has one flight a day. So I'm here now. I'll be spending a second day, 48 hours, in the airport by myself. Yeah. So you can already imagine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna kinda figure something out here and then I'll get back to you guys later on. All right. All right, ladies and gents. Today is the third day that I was spent in this airport trying to get out of here. It's currently about 5 a.m. and the flight's supposed to leave at 8.30, but you gotta check in around five just to make sure you're clear to leave. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to the gate right now. And hopefully we can do this thing finally and get out of here. So wish me luck. Obviously, I'll let you guys know what happens. Let's get out of here. All right. All right, guys. So after a long three days spent in this airport, sleeping in the airport, I'm finally through. Finally get to go to my gate. Finally get to get out of here. Finally get to get to my destination. Going to Accra, Ghana. <sighs> finally. So what we're going to do here is end this version of Tony vs. The World. And we're going to pick up right where we left off on the next one. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few. Good night.